ninja, they do karate. <laughs>I'm a black nerd. So we're getting closer and closer to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the big screen August 8th. Recently they put out a couple of new TV spots during the World Cup and after the Nickelodeon Kids Sports Choice Awards, which I guess is the thing, they had a Ninja Turtles Inside the Action special. Will Arnett and Megan Fox hosted it and we got to see their wonderful chemistry. So watching these TV spots and watching this behind the scenes special, I got to learn a few things. So I thought I would make a list of Ninja Turtle movie facts just based on what we've seen so far. Just to try to squash all these rumors and things that are out there of what this movie will or will not be. Or will Arnett. Sorry about that. That was that pun was terrible. About as terrible as the puns they used in the Ninja Turtles behind the scenes special. I apologize. I'm better than that. I'm not better. I'm gonna put facts in quotes because, you know, things can change if I say something that I think is fact and then you're like, that ain't fact. You lied, Andre. I don't work there. I'm not a turtle correspondent. Number one, Vernon Fenwick is actually named Vern Fenwick. What? Oh my God, Vern is gonna be called Fern? Oh, this movie is totally not taking itself seriously. I can't do this anymore. It's ruined. My childhood is ruined. They chopped off two letters from Vernon's name. I will never watch this movie now. Number two, the turtles are not aliens. Yes, we know we had that whole confusion with Michael Bay referring to the turtles as aliens. They might have been talking about the ooze, we don't know. We still don't know where the ooze comes from, if it's man-made, if it's from Dimension X or whatever, but we do know that the turtles are definitely mutated. We see a little tiny baby turtle and he breaks the glass in one of the TV spots. It's very clear that they were mutated in a lab or something like that, but they are mutants. No, coming from space, they even make a joke about it in one of the spots. They're like, oh, so they're aliens and Megan Fox, or Megan O'Neill, as I refer to her now, is all like, no, aliens, that's stupid. They're turtles. Exactly how she said it. Number three, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are teenagers. Yes, I know they're six feet tall. I know they're big. I know they've been on steroids in this movie, but they do refer to themselves as teenagers. They call themselves teenagers. Megan O'Neill calls them teenagers. They act like teenagers. You can tell by their clothes that they're teenagers because apparently they like to wear a lot of accessories. Apparently the Ninja Turtles went shopping at Claire's. And another reason that the turtles are definitely teenagers brings me to fact number four. We're gonna see tiny turtles. Tiny mutant ninja turtles. Turtle babies, they make ninjas come true. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Yes, there seems to be some sequence, and I don't know how long or how short it is in the actual movie, but we're definitely going to see younger versions of Ninja Turtles being trained by Splinter. I don't know if it's gonna be a thing where it actually progresses over years, or if they're gonna be fast-growing turtles because of them being mutated, but either way, we're gonna see little tiny turtles. This is so that they can make tiny turtle toys. Let's just be real. Bye today, kids. I should just put a big flashing, bye now, just a picture of the little baby turtle. Just bye now, bye now, from Playmates. Now, I'm gonna be real. I actually think this is kind of interesting. This is probably something we haven't seen too much in various versions of Ninja Turtles. In the 80s version, they didn't even have a childhood. It was just like, Mutagen, we're Teenage Mutant Turtles. That just didn't even waste any time. From the 1990 movie and the 2003 series, we did see that there was a time that they were younger, that they actually progressively grew. So I'm curious of how it's gonna work with this movie, but it'll be interesting to see. I wonder if it's just gonna be a plain montage or if we're gonna actually have, you know, a good half hour of Tiny Turtles. This sounds like Tiny Toons, but with turtles. We're tiny, we're turtle, we're red, blue, orange, purple. We're tiny ninja turtles doing ninjutsu. Do, 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 do. Cowabunga, dude. Number five. As far as we know, William Fickner is not the Shredder. I talked about this in my last trailer recap, and I want to make sure that this point is made clear again. He's referred to as Eric Sachs. He talks about the Shredder in the behind the scenes special. It's very clear in the trailer that he's talking to someone else. So all these rumors that we've had of William Fickner being Shredder, including William Fickner himself calling himself Shredder does not seem to be the case. All right, if that's what you say, still would not be surprised if that armor gets on his body somehow. But as it stands right now, the way that they're promoting this thing, William Fickner is just some dude, which I'm like, well, why can't we get Baxter Stockman? That would've been cooler. Number six. Okay, we've seen these turtles in these posters. They look dark and brooding and large. Cause he's large. Popeye reference. But these turtles tell jokes. 
this is actually supposed to be somewhat funny. I don't think the entire movie is going to be funny. Of course, we're going to have some serious action scenes, but it is very clear from what I'm seeing in these recent TV spots and definitely from the special. It's very reminiscent to a little bit of the 90s movie and a little bit of the 80s cartoon series. Even the word cowabunga has been said. Cowabunga confirmed. Let's have them be fun. Let's not just have them be dark and brooding. I was afraid this was going to be, you know, the Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan version of Ninja Turtles, like the Green Knight. So it's good to see them having fun, but then it also makes it kind of weird when they're so large and so bulky and they just look like they should be like I'm a ninja turtle and I'm gonna bite your face off and instead they're all like yay we're a ninja turtle coochie coochie so I don't know if it was that they originally were gonna make this a little bit darker but then because the Nickelodeon series got really popular they decided well we need to lighten them up a little bit or if that was always the intent was to have them be jokey or if the rewrite made this happen there had to have been a change in there somewhere have one turtle say damn just that's all you gotta do Raphael said it in the PG version he went damn have one say damn or ass, or talk about a butt, and we're good to go. I guess you can talk about April's butt. Oh, that's right, you did. In the international version of the trailer, there's a joke where Vern, not Vernon, was looking at April's butt, made a joke. Yay, international trailers. Number seven, I learned this from watching the behind the scenes special. At some point, Raphael will have to save his brothers. They actually even show a scene where the turtles are like chained up, William Fickner, Eric Sachs is in front of them. So Raphael, Vern, not Vernon, and Megan O'Fox go and save them. I think this is a cool idea. I just hope it's not a long portion of the movie because I want to be interacting with all four of the turtles throughout the movie. So hopefully this is like maybe a second, third act type thing that can be a quick rescue, which I think is gonna lead to this giant snow chasing that they keep highlighting and talking about, which is probably going to be one of the biggest scenes in the movie in general. That's at least something we know as a plot point. Number eight, there is something reminiscent of a turtle van in this. They do have a car, supposedly the turtle van or the shell razor, I don't know, it shoots missiles, so that's a thing, and it's got base in it. But yes, we will get a turtle van-esque car in this. And so that'll be interesting. I wonder where that will come into play. I'm sure that's again something you can buy. Buy now. Buy now. It's probably in regular form and Lego form from Playmates. Number nine. The actors are doing the voices. There was a lot of rumors that Johnny Knoxville was going to be the voice of Leonardo and that Tony Shalhoub was going to voice Splinter. But all throughout the behind the scenes special, they kept referring to the Turtles as the motion capture and performance capture actors. And I hope that is the case because why would you get these actors? to come in and do this and to be like, all right, thanks. Now we're gonna have Johnny Knoxville and Jack Black and <laughs> Cameron Diaz. I don't know, <laughs> everybody. Everybody voices a turtle. Come on in, Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle the turtle. Don Cheadle Donatello. Number 10, Karai is in this movie? Now I didn't get this from the behind the scenes special and I didn't get this from the trailer. I got this from Lego. Lego has a new set of Ninja Turtle toys that are coming out based on the movie. Karai is one of the characters that you get in the set. So Karai, is in this movie. So there you go, that's all 10. Wait, I'm gonna add a bonus one. Number 11, Megan Fox is April O'Neil. She just is. I know you're thinking that maybe somehow it would change, but it ain't. We just have to accept it. They're ninjas. They know karate. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm getting a little less and less concerned about this movie. I think there will be some cool action scenes. I think the turtles being jokesters will be fun. There's still some possibility with this. The thing I do not want from this movie is to be dull. I want it to either be super fun, really good, or just the most ridiculous, worst thing we've ever seen that we can all laugh. So I'll see y'all, get safe. We'll have fun and we'll just hold hands and pray together. Let's actually pray right now. Dear Lord, Please watch over this Ninja Turtles movie. Please do not let the fanboys rage in anger and have them see whatever snippets of their classic turtles they need to see while still allowing for modern ways of turtledom to come into their lives. Please let Megan Fox only be in 10% of the movie. Please show Whoopi Goldberg because for some reason every time I see Whoopi Goldberg in the trailer, I laugh. She should have been April O'Neil. Bless this movie. Bless all the merchandise around it. Bless all the pizza that will be sold during it. Amen and cowabunga. Do, 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 do. Are you better about this movie? Are you still like this is gonna be shell crap? Let me know in the comments. Thumbs up this video and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I make new nerdy videos all week, every week. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy 5000. Chain chomp, yomp. The turtles.